Hello guys, welcome back. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes in a lot of these videos, I'm recording them back to back, I'm not a slob. Okay, um, in this video we're going to be talking about how the next generation of, or this generation, sorry, of men are perfectly positioned to just, just completely dominate the next generation of people. The next generation, the TikTok generation, right? And the young Instagram generation, anybody, any, pretty much any man and woman underneath, uh, under 30 right now. And bear in mind I'm 28, but I just don't think like these other motherfuckers. I, I, I move differently. I, I think like a 40, 50 year old man. I think it's because I grew up somewhere where everybody, they, they were behind, we were behind the times. So I grew up with an old school man mentality. Um, but I'm looking at these kids now and they're soft. They're so soft. They're slow. They don't. You know, it's like that scene from Gentlemen, you know, life's quick boys, it's hard up in the bone top. They don't think like old school men used to, they don't move like old school men used to, they're not sharp. They, the one thing that they do worse than anybody else is they value looks above everything else. You know, if you've got, if you've got 100,000 Instagram followers and you've got fat ass, you're, you're, you're the shit. You know, that's exactly what they want. A women are walking around now, they're like, I just want to be Insta famous, I just want to be famous on TikTok, nothing else, no other ambitions. I just want a fatter ass, bigger boobs, and I want bigger lips. And I want to be Instagram famous dating a rapper. This is the kind of mentality we're dealing with in the next generation, all right? The men are getting the same way. So a lot of guys are like, oh, I just want to be a TikTok comedian. You know, nobody is trying to build, and there's nothing wrong with this, guys. I actually encourage you if that's what you want to do, but nobody's trying to build proper businesses anymore. Nobody's trying to build a solid fucking life. Because people don't understand it. People are seeing this social media success and they're like, oh, all I've got to do is have big tits and a fat ass and big lips. Or as a guy, all I've got to do is have some abs and nice hair and I'm a billionaire. And it's like, no, no, trust me. You've still got to build brand. You've still got to have the foundation, the backing and everything else. The point I'm trying to make is that this generation of men that are positioned now, so kind of my age, let's say, Anybody who, well, anybody who's got a brain, to be honest, but if you are in this generation where you might be 25 to 40, you are perfectly positioned, number one, to destroy every fucking man that tries to be competitive with you with ease, because they're all soft as fuck, and it's going to be easy. And number two, you've got the opportunity to sleep with any woman that you ever felt like sleeping with, because we've got a whole generation of 10, 50, like a 15-year window where... Every man and woman, every boy, girl, whatever you want to say, you know, the future adults of the world, they're all growing up in a scenario where, like I said, they're valuing looks. They're valuing looks and nothing else. You know, as long as they're insta famous, they could have a shit job as long as they're, you know, the bank account's dry, but as long as their account has 200,000 followers and they're getting 2,000 likes per post, they're happy. Their life's going well. As long as they can pop a few dance moves on a Saturday. Uh, put it on TikTok and it gets a thousand views. They're like, yeah, good. I feel good about myself. That dopamine rush. If you're in this generation like me and you've got a different mindset and you want more out of life, fucking fantastic. Because if you go and get in shape, you know, and you, you do all the physical stuff and you look good anyway, right? You can tick those boxes like all these other plebs are doing. It's easy to do. But then if you look at the success side of things and you say, I'm going to be a mature man with about a million fucking traits and good morals, and I'm going to be in a position where people are like, he's an old school man, he's got some serious grit about him, and the older generation respect you, so they're going to give you opportunities. But then if you build something like a decent business or a decent career and you rise your way up, you people always say oh, it's getting more competitive each year, it's getting less competitive. It's getting less competitive because people are valuing different things. So, I, like my old boss told me once that um, he said it's the perfect time because I was trying to be a trainee financial advisor a, a, f a good few years ago now and um, he said if you can pull this off he said the way that you look with your beard and the shaved head and so I didn't have it at the time he said but you look older um, you know you're a little bit bigger you think differently you're not like these little wheezy kids coming up now um, he said you'll get all the young people who want to work with you as a financial advisor because there just isn't anybody trying to be a financial advisor right now. But then all the older people will be like, well, he's my best bet because these, there's not many of them and he's probably the best of a bad bunch. With respect, of course, he wasn't being offensive. Um, but there's less competition and I think anybody who's out there right now looking for a decent job, financial advisor is probably a good one because barely anybody's going down that career route. Everybody's like, 
I don't want to get a fucking real job, I don't want to start a real business, I'm just going to make memes or I'm going to do comedy sketches on TikTok. And that's great because you have a big following, okay, you can do something with it, but most people are fucking clueless in a business sense. Most people don't know what they're doing, they don't know how to convert that. So what ends up happening is like, fuck Jerry, okay, fuck Jerry, millions of followers making bare minimum money. And he admitted that. That's the only reason why I know that, because he admitted it. he came out and said, look, I don't have a lot of money. It's very hard to turn memes into money. It's very hard to get advertising and sponsors from brands. And a lot of YouTubers do it too. A lot of YouTubers have 4 million followers, but they live and die on brand sponsors. Oh, we got a brand deal. It's like, guys, come on, there's, there's more to life than a brand deal. You know, Learn some business skills. Learn how to monetize what you do. But they don't have that skill set because they're of the, the new school mentality, which is your following is your currency. Your following isn't your currency, guys. You know, if you're Kylie Jenner, whatever, you've got hundreds of millions, you're going to get paid the millions. It's easy to do. But with her platform, I think I could be a trillionaire quite easily. You know, and a lot of people don't use what they have. Like, I look at a lot of these big things. YouTubers like Mr. Beast. I'd be a billionaire if I had his following. It'd be too, it'd be too fucking easy. But, and no offense to that guy because he's done a great job of what he's done. But they kind of value themselves on just numbers and metrics and merch and stuff like that it's very tacky shit you know and then we've got this whole generation coming up now like i said where we're going to have these gorgeous women who have got maybe fifty thousand followers or like everybody's got followers now you get a girl who is like locally hot but she's got ten thousand followers okay but they don't have any qualifications they don't have a decent job they don't have any skill set they don't have any way to monetize what they do they, they're just hot with a big following and all the guys, like I said, are doing the same, so the competition is just thinning out every single day. The competition is getting easier and easier to be the one guy that sits at the top of society of society. Because everybody just wants to get drunk, fuck bitches, make music, you know, start a start a podcast, but they don't have that skill set. They they don't actually have it like that, if that makes sense. Everybody wants to be what's popular right now rather than build a business that they actually want to build. And I think if you're one of those guys who does get to like 35 has completely taken over the game, actually built an old school type business, is making real fucking money, has some serious clout, is working with the old school, the older people, they respect you and they're giving you money because they're like, okay, we, I can work with this guy, you know, like top investors, etc. You're gonna, anybody underneath your age, anybody from like 18 to 35, they're yours, they're yours guys. Any woman is yours because they're not building shit to go with their looks. They're, they're beautiful lost women. That's what they are, they're beautiful lost women most of them have million followers and they're working a nine to five job at a fucking bakery right now. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm saying look at the contrast. Million followers working at a bakery and a minimum wage, you know, or some rich guys funding their lifestyle. You're going to be able to just sit in a position where you're like, I actually built something. You know, you're hot, you've got a million followers, but I'm driving around in this McLaren. I make 200,000 per month. And I live in a giant penthouse and I've got more money than anybody's ever seen. And I've built myself up in my character that I have a personality that is unmatched and unrivaled of anybody in my whole generation. That's the stage you can get to, guys. This opportunity is wide open. There's this giant window where, like I said, nobody's building real businesses. Nobody is truly on their grind. You know, everything's a facade. Everything is hustle and grind. Monday, let's get it. I love Mondays. Like, do you really love Mondays? Do you really love Mondays? Seriously? You know, you just put in that because it gets more followers. There's a lot of fakery in this game. And I think if you can stay silent, you can kind of stay on your grind. You can just keep your head down. Do the right thing for five, ten years and just keep going at it. Like I said, all those women are yours because they're going to be lost, hot women. Like, look at LA. There's women that go to LA being told they're the most beautiful woman anybody's ever seen. They get there. There's another fucking 400,000 women that look like them. They end up working in a bar for six, seven years and then marrying some rich old guy because he actually bothered to fucking do something with his life and the pair merged together. But then we got the men who were doing it as well, like I said. So the men are kind of going down that route of, I've got a jawline and nice hair. I'm going to be the next Justin Bieber. It's like, no, 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 guys, he has a talent. He can sing. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't fucking work like that. Like, you might sleep with a few Instagram models. Great. Wow, yeah. That, shake your hand. Well done, buddy. You know, big woo. But you still have to build something off the fucking back of it. 
you still have to build something. You still have to do that grind. You still have to build brand. You still have to make the, the cash that comes with it. And there's a lot of fakery out there. You've got to be the one real one. And then, like I said, guys, and I'm repeating this multiple times in different ways because I like these points to sink in and provide optimism. But you're going to have all the women you want. But then also with the men, there's going to be little competition because the fakes get exposed in the end. You know, I've told you guys all along the way, there was times just a year and a half ago, I was broke as fuck. I was on my ass. The reason being, my business got deleted. Told you guys about it all. Yeah, fuck, I took a couple of loans, had to pay them all off. It fucked me financially. Had to rebuild it all again. I've documented the whole journey. You're in my gym and my office. Told you it's nothing special. I don't spend big on shit like that. I don't do flashy. I will in the future, but I don't do flashy. I build real businesses. I'd rather be the guy that's put two, three hundred thousand into their business and has zero in their bank account than the guy who has three hundred thousand in their bank account and is flexing with Gucci loafers on. But there's nothing extra coming in. You know, if there's a recession and it lasts more than a year or two, they're fucked. All that money starts to drain, the house and the car that they have, they can't afford it. I've seen this happen. And there's a lot of fakery out there. And we're in the ultimate fake era. We're in the fake generation. Fucking Y, Z, millennials. We're in the fakery generation. You know, where everybody wants to give an impression that their life is better than what it is. If you're the one real motherfucker, if you're that Tupac in the group, if you're that Oasis, if you're that Liam Gallagher and you just fucking tell it as it is, you stay on your grind and you do what is right and what is necessary, I promise you, this next generation, the competition is laughable. The competition is laughable. It's fucking pathetic. You've got guys out there now who are, you know, a great looking guy, 32 years old, doesn't have a penny to his name. And I'm saying, guys, there's nothing wrong with being 32 years old and not having a penny to your name and not having figured it out yet. You don't have to, okay? I've made videos about this before. But they're given the impression that they're some kind of fucking superstar and they're valuing a fake town on a Friday night and sleeping with the hottest girl in the club over actually building a fucking life. You know, they're not mature men, they're little boys. We're in this whole era now where everybody's doing this. And I've seen the veil, I've pulled it back, I've been around these people, I've been in Toronto, I've been in London, I've met people who are supposed to be at the top. A lot of them are broke, a lot of them are fake as fuck. A lot of the women have like, 20, 30,000 in their bank account, which they got from some rich guy in Dubai. And that's how they're able to just live full time. But they rent a lot of shit that they've got. You know, they get rich guys to pick them up. They just spend a day with a photographer who's got access to props and they're like, look at my lifestyle. Not a lot of this shit is real, guys. Like I said, we're in the fake generation. And if you can put that grind in now and be the realest motherfucker in the room, I promise you, you in this generation, the next stage, you will have everything you've ever fucking wanted. Because you'll be one of the only people who actually build something of worth and value and the only one that can actually say, what I have is real. Like, I, I've had these visions before, I've had these thoughts where, like, I'm, I'm going to do interviews in the future and people are going to say, like, how did you make it? How did you, like, you're going to get all these questions and I know that I'm going to be, like, I'm one of the only guys in my whole generation who built a real business or who made it and made success of having a real business. I think it will be, like from my generation, I think it will be the guy from um, Social Chain. I think it will be the Gymshark guy, Ben. Um, I think it will be the guy who runs Hera. No, not right now. Sorry, I get a call coming in. I need, I need to answer one of them. I think it will be a few, you know, other people dotted around that started real businesses. But you know, myself, that have actually made real money from proper businesses, but everyone else either made it from YouTube, Instagram, shitty merch that they're doing, uh, OnlyFans, escorting, you know, shit like that. There's not many of us now creating real businesses and making genuine money. And I think time will tell. I think next five, ten years, all of that's going to die away. There's going to be new shit. There's going to be young, hotter people. They're going to value looks even more because that's the way the world's going. And the ones that you thought were famous, that were the big shit, they're going to drop away. This new generation is going to rise. But you're going to be the only one, if you've built something of fucking real worth, who sits at the top and says, I'm the king of this era. You know, I run the shit around here. I actually, I'm legit. I'm legit. I can get any woman I want because I'm fucking legit. And they, you know, they give a little impression, but in reality, they're broke as fuck. They need you way more than you think they're hot. If that could be a scalable uh, trade-off. And then there's other men out there as well who think, yeah, like, they come in, they got the abs, they got the nice hair, they got the good-looking guys, 
you know, maybe naturally just six foot four, something like that. There's no money though. There's no money in male modeling. There's no fucking money in that. You might you might be a famous male model, you might have two, three hundred thousand followers, million followers. There's not a lot of money in it. There's not a lot of money. There's way more money in being uh, a fitness model. A lot of these fitness mo- a lot of these fitness model guys are caked. They're making a shit ton of money. Do you know why? Because they've been in the fucking gym, they're putting that grind in, they're gritting their teeth. You know, like Mike Thurston, this guy's making like 30 to 50k a month. He's got a decent life, that guy's legit. You know, he's worked his balls off. But there's a lot of fakery out there. A lot of fakery, and watch out for it, guys. But if you, cap- if, if you capitalize on this generation, this era, and especially the next one coming through, you're going to be sat there as like a 35, 40 year old man. Like I said, everybody underneath that age group is yours. You're going to run that whole era. You're going to be able to do whatever the fuck you want. All those women are yours. Now, if you thought you might not want an 18 year old, you know, it's a bit weird, but also just fucking whiny in your ear. You know what I mean? It's not right. But you might have like a 28 year old woman who's like the hot shit on social media at the time. You're a 39 year old man, multi millionaire, everything you ever wanted, put in place. You've actually built a fucking business. She isn't living the lifestyle that her social media kind of portrays. She's yours. You know, all of the guys that are around that think they're the alpha, they're not actually making real money. They're not actually built a real business. In two, three years, they drop off. You're at the top. You're the real alpha. It's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. Everybody's value in looks and sex appeal. It's the only currency right now. You can't buy a house on sex appeal. You know, you can't buy a nice car permanently on sex appeal. You can't grow a business on sex appeal. To a certain extent, everybody's going to age at some point. Like I was watching Ryan Serhan, the guy who does the real estate showings. The other day. I was watching him, his video yesterday, and um, fair play, I love that guy. What a great guy he is. He's worked his nuts off. He started from the bottom. He did what was necessary. Ten to twelve years later, he's starting his own real estate firm in a turbulent time when everyone else is saying it's a bad time to do it. I fucking love that. What a great guy. And because of that, I think he's married with kids, whatever. I think he's got all the relationship shit. But if he was a single guy, I promise you, he would run. He is now moving into that spot where he's going to run this next generation. He is now the Gary Vee of real estate. And he's going to run this generation because he just fucking got on with it. You know, he built a real business. Not a bad looking guy. Could have done fashion, could have done modeling. Built a real fucking business. Put his nose to the grindstone. Went for it. Did some real dirty, mucky shit in the early days that he didn't want to do. Probably went around houses he didn't want to go to. Did, you know, did some stuff as shit pay. He's now in this period of time where he has a giant following of millions of people. He's legit. He's proved himself. He's authentic. He's moving to stage two. And now he is one of the kings of this next generation. And people are going to look up to him. He's now perfectly positioned. And I'm telling you, the next generation is going to be even easier because everybody is a lazy cunt. Excuse my friend.